Did I scare you? Is this choking me? Nah, I have wet hair. <laughs> I literally just bought this for that. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Halloween is just around the corner and it is a big deal in this house. So yeah, so I made a list of Halloween costumes you guys might find funny or can use. I don't think they're offensive. They might be. If they're offensive, then let me know in the comments below. <laughs> are they? I don't know. Oh, they are? So basically, I, I took stuff from this year, last year, uh, just events that have happened, and I just uh, put them all together, and I came up with this list. Some of these will have to be explained to other people when they see you wearing this. That's a disclaimer. And I realize now that this video is probably going to be completely useless next year. Shit. Oh well. First on the list, a security guard that was at the Notre Dame Cathedral fire in Paris. Now listen, wait, wait. If you know the story, you'll know that the security guards kind of messed up, kind of screwed up when the, the alarms were going off, they couldn't find the fire, they were running around. Oh, and then by the time they called, it was a little too late. And there's, anyways. So the security guard with a burnt shirt. And so what you can do is you can get a white shirt, it has holes in it. So you're like walking around, you're running around. You make sure you write security, maybe in French. Oh wait, I need to wear my sweater. This is my new sweater, it says, for the vlog, for the vlog. Yeah, so anyways, the, the shirt will say security. It can You can write it in French, right, with the little accents on the E's and stuff like that. You can like run around all confused and not knowing, you know, you can say like, the fire's in this room, the fire's in that room. It is completely offensive. I, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is a, I think it's one of the most least offensive ones I have had on my list. Okay. Next. The next one I have is basically, have you seen the picture of that long line up to get to the top of Mount Everest? So my idea would be a hiker going up to Mount Everest. Why is there a line up to the top of the mountain? This is an easy cost. Basically, if you live in like a cold city like Chicago, Toronto, or uh, the state of Alaska, you would already have a lot of like winter stuff, right? So you can get a giant parka, you can get one of those uh, balaclava or whatever it's called, and, or you can make one yourself, you know, the one that wraps your face up like this. And what you need would be like ski like walking poles or sticks or just something that you have in your hands. But the best part, if you didn't, if you weren't wearing the mask then, you can do your face as zombie makeup, right? Like so that way you just died. Um, that's so not funny. <laughs> It's Halloween, okay? Bear with me. But you can do zombie makeup, but don't do too much zombie because then, then you look like a zombie that hiked the mountain and then you killed people. Don't, yeah, don't do the zombie, like the mouth blood one. Just do like the zombie, like you died or you froze or something like that. You know, saying it out loud sounds offensive, but I think like if you do it, they might not find it offensive. I don't know. Oh, whatever, who cares? Okay, another really quick one. So my next costume, is we finally got a picture of the black hole. So that's a big, that's a big thing, that was a big event. So I'm thinking like, just wear all black, black t-shirt, black pants, and you, people are like, oh, where are you? And then you can walk around with a vacuum tube and you can just start like, like pulling people closer to you, like just sucking them in. I, I really built that one up, I think. I, I think I went too hard, too fast. I mean, these are really simple that you can just do it right, like really, really quickly. Like if you don't want to like spend too much time. And before I start getting attacked about black holes not sucking, it's, I know, it's a misconception, but who cares? Next! So the next one I think is a good one is dressing up like a protester in Hong Kong. It's great, because what you can do is you can get a mask, you can get one of those half mask, half face mask, or like a full, like, wait, half face mask, and one of those standard, like, dusk masks. Either way, it works totally, and you could probably borrow one from somebody that has one, and you can have, like, a piece of paper that says, like, liberate Hong Kong, and, like, people would, like, I think people would take pictures with you. It's, like, a good thing, right? Like, you're trying to create awareness for it. I don't think that one is offensive. So the next one is uh, dressing up like uh, the Brazilian president. Uh, as you know, like, the Amazon forest has been burning and they're like a lot of activists have been literally just blaming him for his policies and whatever. So I was thinking you could dress up like him, you can dress like a nice suit, your tie could be like maybe different colors of the Brazilian flag if you want to throw that in there. And what you can do is you can uh, walk around with uh, maybe a branch that's burnt or like newly burnt or like you know just like light it on fire before you go into the party. Make sure it like smells like burnt but maybe not like 
like smoking everywhere and you're like walking around. It's pretty easy to do and the branch can go outside. You can, you can pick up a, it's like, especially if it's winter already, like you just pick something that has no leaves on it. It'll look burnt already. Another one would be like dressing up like Donald Trump during when he pulled out that giant map of, of Hurricane Dorian coming towards Florida and he was like, oh, it's gonna hit Alabama and he drew on it. Okay, so my idea is like you dress up like Trump obviously so you have like the red hat. You can just get a red, red hat, a wig, uh, you can get a red tie with a, a suit. That's pretty easy to find I think. The next part is funny because like it, you can have like a sharpie <laughs> you can just write on stuff. So like you just change whatever you want. Like if you had a party and like you just find something you can just write on it. You are allowed to change whatever you want and make it whatever it is. So if you see a friend of yours you know you see Cajun you're like you know what tonight your name is Steve. So you just write Steve on a shirt and he's Steve for the rest of the night. He'll thank you later for that. Next! My next one is dressing up like El Chapo. So the Mexican drug lord just finally, uh, one of the one of them got uh, arrested. One of the biggest ones got arrested a few times, but this is hopefully the last time. I was thinking there's a picture that's kind of notorious of him being uh, brought out by the Mexican Navy and he has his head down. And I think this would be really funny. So you can have like an army shirt, you can have a bulletproof vest that's made out of like cardboard, or you can wear a black vest. Check this out. Something like this, maybe? I don't know, maybe not this one because this is kind of weird, it has a logo on it. Like the idea is here, right? So like you have like a vest, army, you look like you're maybe with a gun. No, maybe don't bring your gun. I mean, if you had a toy gun, maybe a small toy gun and you can write uh, Marina like on the, on the vest like they do. This costume is perfect for with somebody else. So like, it would be really funny if you were like, a, you know, a parent and a kid and the kid could be like with a white shirt and black pants and then like the parent could be like the, the Navy. It looks like the kid's like a little like, you know, he's the one, I don't know, he's the drug lord. Yeah, this doesn't actually just sound good out loud, but it does, may, it could, it could work. The rep that merch. Okay, the next on the list is uh, the Mars our Opportunity rover. Just recently died after, I think like 14 years or something like that. I think it would be really funny if you obviously have like dead makeup on, the zombie thing, but don't make it a zombie, but then have like this big box and like you can make it into like, make it look like a rover by painting it all white with the NASA logo in the front and like the wheels on the side, like this picture. No, not, okay, that one is way too hard. Don't do that one. That one, why, who has time to do that? It's the dead look that's funny. That's the funny part. Hopefully you lasted this long in the video. Let me know if it was too long. And uh, my last one is offensive. It's a little offensive. So if you think the other ones were offensive, like th this might be the cake topper. Like this might be the one that takes it home. I'm not trying to be offensive. I'm literally telling you, I've just came up with these ideas and now talking out loud to you, I realize they're extremely offensive. They might not be, like, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so on YouTube, there was like the worst parents ever. Uh, they used to have a channel uh, called Daddy05 and they had their kids taken away because of physical and mental and physical, wait, did I just say that? So wait, hold on, hear me out. Not to be them, but to be the Children Protective Services that took their kids away. <laughs> you can, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not, listen, children abuse is absolutely not funny at all. But for Halloween, what you can do is you can be, you know, even saying this out loud, I realize how bad this is. You can be Children Protective Services. You can put CPS on your t-shirt, on a black t-shirt, and you can carry around like three dolls or two dolls, and people are like, who are you? And you're like, I'm Children Protective Services that took away the kids from Daddy 05. This will only work if people know who that channel is. Those kids away from Daddy 05? Yeah, that was me. I was, I'm Children, no, yeah, that's definitely offensive. Whatever, he's a piece of shit. Hopefully you guys had a good time watching. Sorry if this went on a little too long. Uh, you guys keep our vlog eye for life. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And have a great Halloween, even though I recorded this a month in advance. I hope you have a great night.